first one is just for functional interface summary first two point team what is first two point functional interface should contain hmm. should contains exactly exactly one abstract method exactly one abstract method exactly one abstract method that is also called a sam sam stands for single abstract method single abstract method hey, it can contain it can any number of any number of default methods and static methods it can contain any number of default methods and static methods it acts as a it acts as a it acts as a type for lambda expressions it acts as a type for lambda expression that means what is type here yesterday's class we have given demo d is equal to demo this is called lambda expression this is called lambda expression this is called lambda expression i would say here this is called type i would say here this is called type team this is called lambda expression see what i want to try to say here int a is equal to 10 a is what type integer type it is a value i would say this whole lambda expression what is the type of this lambda expression our functional interface our functional interface so once it is done okay next one it is used it is used to call or invoke used to call or invoke invoke lambda expression call or invoke lambda expression lambda expression t what is okay example here example is d dot m1 but that's it now the biggest question is here why functional interfaces why functional interface should contains only one abstract method why functional interface should contain only one abstract methodity so there is a reason why functional interface should contains only one abstract method most of the interviews are asking team why functional interface should contain only one abstract method the answer is no as you told you know a functional interface is also known as single abstract method now here it is facilitated for lambda expressions you okay, you would tell public answer is lambda expressions lambda expression lambda expression okay this lambda okay, expression can only provide the can only provide the can only provide the implementation can only provide the implementation for implementation for one method can only provide the okay, implementation for one method one method one method and it is and see that's why 
That's why. Local interface will have only functional interface will have only one abstract method. Only one abstract method. Simple okay, example. Okay, example. Okay, okay, you should tell functional interface will have why only one abstract method means it is due to limitations of because of lambda of expression due to limitations of because of lambda expression okay now how to tell this interface demo okay you will tell here you will tell here let's assume that public void m1 public void m1 let's assume that int a so how to write this okay functional interfaces so i am not writing public static void main and all demo d is equal to a arrow demo d is equal to a arrow a arrow system dot out dot print ln out dot print ln something like a something like a star a now what you will tell here p dot m1 p dot m1 if you pass value as 10 p dot m2 if you pass value as 20 something like that suppose suppose if you are adding let us assume that public void m2 public void m2 int m2 int a comma into b let us assume that but this is a what interface this is a functional interface this is a functional interface from first one first one this is a functional interface what is first one even though you are providing these abstract methods first one even though you are providing this abstract okay let us assume that even though you are providing these abstract methods let us assume that even though you are providing these abstract methods now what will be happen but you know your functional interface your lambda expression was written lambda expression was written for only one method L lambda expression was written lambda expression was written only one method lambda expression does not write for multiple methods you can write for only one method team you may ask sir i would call uh, one more okay one more here you can write but at a time you can't execute for multiple lambda expression at a time you can't execute for multiple lambda of expression first of all so here you are always your lambda of expression will, will be allowed for only one method implementation only you cannot write for multiple interfaces you cannot write for multiple interfaces team due to avoid this only functional interfaces will have only one abstract methods due to avoid this only functional interfaces will have only one abstract method team if anyone will ask interview why functional interface should contain only one abstract method you should tell lambda expressions can only provide the implementation for one method that's why functional interfaces will have only one abstract method that's it team the next question what is next question team please the next question is what is the what is the advantage what is the advantage of what is the advantage of functional interface what is the advantage of functional interface annotations 
what is the advantage of functional interface annotation so now if you are trying to interface demo advantage of this okay, functional interface is as per as per okay as per okay, specification of the jdk8 functional interface will have only one abstract method if you are if you declare your interface as a functional interface if you declare your interface as a functional interface if you declare your okay, interface as a functional interface then what happened you know let's assume that how to call this one to call this one you should go for to call this one you should go for this one okay you should go for this one team demo d equal to now here here no no input parameter is there system dot out dot print ln synotech system dot out dot print ln synotech now it is it is the lambda of expression t it is the lambda expression okay see now here the answer is see if you are trying to add so okay, if you are trying to okay, okay if we if we can add any new abstract methods then it should break all the lambda expressions okay it should break all the lambda expression that is the reason declare okay to avoid this we should declare interface as functional interfaces now now you have written is okay happy now you are calling d dot m1 now you are calling d dot m1 now you are calling d dot m1 if you are calling d dot m1 what happened if you are calling d dot m1 what happened okay you will get the output you can write n number of okay lambda expressions not only one you can write n number of lambda okay expressions here but whenever you try to add okay whenever you try to add new abstract method then it, it should break all the lambda expressions okay so here if we add we add okay, if you add the new abstract method new abstract method then then okay it should break it should break okay, it should break all the lambda expressions it should break all the lambda expression okay team to avoid this to avoid this to avoid this to avoid this we should declare we should declare interface as functional interface you should declare okay, interface as functional interface you should declare okay, interface as functional interface next question is next chapter is what is default methods what is default methods team very very important what is default methods so if you see if you see if it is now here the market is question is why default methods introduced in jdk 1.8 version in jdk 8 what are the advantages what are the advantages with the default methods what are the advantages with default methods understood now my answer is if you go for functional interface a functional interface will have a functional interface will have one abstract method but many default methods a functional interface will have you can write a functional interface is demo interface demo or sample if you say it is a functional interface 
but if you write public void m1 here if you write public void m2 here it is a default default now here see so you can write n number of default you can write n number of default you can write n number of default is not a problem you can write n number of default it's not a problem now next one why this okay, function interface has introduced this default one now let's see answer did you remember did you remember see first point is first point is default methods are nothing but concrete methods default methods are nothing but concrete methods concrete methods next question is sir why we should go for lambda expressions lambda expressions are used to are are, are used to to replace to replace the implementation classes if you use lambda expressions if you use lambda expressions that is use lambda expressions instead of mpl classes instead of implementation classes are you okay, agreed or not hey please it should be a okay, interactive okay, session team okay, are you okay agreed or not okay everyone so if you use a okay, lambda okay, expressions as per our book okay, okay, example if you use a okay, lambda okay, expressions it is called demo d is equal to this do you need any IMPL classes? No. Do you need any IMPL classes? No. If it is here, you are using demo, you need demo IMPL, you need to see without the functional interfaces, okay, implementation class is mandatory. If you use lambda expression, do you need any implementation class? No. Because your lambda expression is nothing but replacement of your implementation class who will write the implementation class at runtime your jvm will take care to write the implementation class your jvm will take care how to call this lamp of functional interface method sir understood sir please now okay everyone so is this statement is okay or not lambda of expressions is used for replacement replace the implementation classes that is use lambda expression instead of implementation classes so now we see i would say default methods also is used is used to replace the implementation classes the reason is a already you see a, a interface will have public interface demo let us assume that you have a one method public wide m1 m1 so now i am i am okay i am trying to write the equivalent of lambda expression I am trying to write how the equivalent of lambda expression demo. How to write equivalent of lambda expression demo. D is, D is equal. If no arguments are there, this. Here what you will do? System dot out dot print ln. Synotech. dot print ln synotech see here hey already we did so much of efforts on lambda expressions and functional interfaces so that 
if you use lambda okay okay if you use use lambda of expression use lambda of expression number one no no need implementation class no need implementation class number two reduce the number of lines code reduce the number of lines code no need implementation class and reduce the number of lines code already we did so much of okay, effort to make it is your lambda expressions is more readable more you know this is suppose if if you add suppose if you want to add any your own methods okay depends upon the requirement if you want to add your own methods okay, let's assume that so i have an okay, interface you want to add your own methods please okay, try to understand public default public let's assume that okay, default method is not there okay, demo impl implements implements demo demo impl implements demo now what you will do public void m1 now what you will do here if there is no functional interface now here what happened even the functional interface also now okay you have to write y into you are writing your own coding that's fine it is a normal interface uh, okay how to call this normal interface you should call it demo d is equal to new demo impl you should call demo d is equal to new demo impl now you should call d dot m1 as well as d dot m2 d dot m1 as well as d dot m2 but it team d dot m1 as well as d dot m2 now please try to understand here whenever you will give this kind of thing what happened so it is now you are calling m1 as 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 well as you are calling okay, m2 but try to understand see this one somehow we are okay we can able to manage the lambda expression for one abstract method we are able to call the lambda expression but what about m2 what about m2 because of m2 only because of m2 only we are going to write again implementation classes please try to understand functional interfaces are is hate okay, hating these implementation classes to avoid unnecessary implementation classes to avoid unnecessary implementation classes to avoid too many classes in your project development what we should do we already addressed the you know using lambda expression but still if developer want any concrete methods yes to avoid this unnecessary implementation classes they implemented the concept is called default methods team please try to understand i would say default methods are used i would say default methods default methods are used to avoid 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 implementation classes is used to avoid implementation classes team default methods are used to avoid implementation classes now we are see please try to understand so what is my interface name interface name i have a I have a sample now I have all these things how to write the sample functional interface new new class sample functional interface sample is equal to this is equal to what should I do? What are the implementations are there with uh, functional interfaces? You can write, okay, you can write, okay, okay, whatever you want, you can write, okay, C is equal to, uh, 
if you if you don't have any arguments if you don't have any arguments some dot out dot println one method go to here m2 method go to here m3 go to here m4 you can write how many you want now here s dot m1 s dot m2 s dot m3 s dot Now see, mass done. So this one is abstract method. Abstract uh, method is calling to what? Okay, execute this lambda expressions. These two are default methods or concrete methods. These methods will be executed. These methods also will be executed. So already we addressed to avoid the implementation classes so many classes using lambda work expressions you know functional interfaces but be, if the developer want to add any one of the requirement using concrete methods hey developer no need to write no need to write any implementation classes functional interfaces only provided that feature also you can write you can write n number of default methods you can write n number of default methods not a problem understood sir please please try to understand if any doubts you can ask me team hope you are clear team okay till now yeah good sir okay i will explain sir if abstract class is already there uh, to avoid implementation classes then again why default methods i will explain Abstract methods are is not fit for lambda expressions. Abstract methods means we should write the your implementation classes. I mean your okay, extend classes. Abstract methods. Okay, I will give one okay, difference. Okay, I will explain, sir. Now please try to understand thing. So default methods are used to to avoid the implementation classes. To avoid the implementation classes. No. Okay, example. Default methods with respect to two. With respect to two multiple inheritance. With respect to two multiple okay, inheritance. Public interface. Interface. Let's assume that I have an okay, interface is called I have an okay, interface is called A. Okay. Here default wide M1. Default wide M1. System dot out dot print ln. Out dot print ln. This is M1 method. This is M1 method. Okay, now I have I have one more interface. Same interface. I have one more interface. Public interface. Interface. Now here B. Please try to understand. Please try to understand. What I would say here, I will write here, it is M2. It is M2. Or it is also M1 only. M1 only. M1 method from A. System dot out dot print ln. M1 method from B. M1 A from M1 B. Okay, team. 
we will see practically where and how all this will be a helpful team okay b now okay interface a is done interface b is done it is m1 method from a it is m1 method from b done now now what we'll do here public as test implements a comma b multiple inheritance a comma b you are implements both interface now what happened team okay which interface will come team here which interface will come here Default A class A interface of M1 method will come or B interface of M1 method will come to which interface will come here? Which interface will come? Okay, anyone can guess. Ambiguities. Yes, exactly here. We would get an ambiguity. Ambiguity team. Because you are your compiler don't know which you know okay m1 method it would be okay, executed if you want see step one is ambiguity we will get we will get we will get ambiguity we would get ambiguity now how to override this ambiguity is very very important how to override the ambiguity how to override the ambiguity to override the ambiguity what we should do to override the ambiguity what we should do public test implements a comma b implements a comma b public void m1 public void m1 m1 you know this is try to understand m1 but what this m1 will be executed what this m1 will be executed so now so you you should give a dot you want a a interface m1 method or you want b interface m1 method if you want a interface m1 method a dot super dot a dot super dot m1 method a dot super dot m1 method a dot super dot m1 method if you don't want new implement see assume that hey if i don't want any new new implementation we should call a dot super dot i okay m1 you are indicating that indicating that you are using a interface of m1 method okay you are using a interface of m1 method team Oh, clear okay. everything is clear now okay so this is what let us see this okay, output okay now i have an okay, interface is called it is a functional interface m1 i am going it is called same functional interface this time i am not using this it is also m1 here it is also okay, m1 here okay i have two two okay i have two okay, interfaces i have two interfaces here or let us assume that if you stop this functional interfaces and we can write i have two here two are called M1 M1. Now we'll see here. Default 
void m2 default void m2 now here how to you should use system dot out dot print ln m2 from m2 from a same thing we should write it here into frame b e thing now i am trying to write one interface c new class i am trying to write new class c class i am okay i am trying to write new class which is cd which is required for public static void main and all implements a comma b implements a comma oh. add unimplemented methods you got only m1 got only m1 but here see override default method in b see observe here if i stop this it is hey you have written m1 is okay but what about this override default method in m1 override default method in m2 which method you want to override it is asking clearly override m1 method in a override default method in b please try to understand team please try to understand team so if you want a it would come a At only one a dot c if it is ide automatically okay, it will provide team let's assume that this is also is an functional interface okay this is also is an functional interface now what is error annotation c is not a functional interface why it is a default methods it is a default methods it is overriding as a c is not a functional interface invalid functional interface annotation invalid functional interface annotation because it doesn't have any abstract methods that's why it is no need to get declare this one team understood team so now here okay did you get it now you can create the object you can create the object c c is equal to new c c c is equal to okay new c now what you would call c dot m2 see okay m2 means okay, which one will be called here go for a this one would be called team so if i run the application okay, m2 from a if I run the OK application, now OK M2 from A team. Understood? OK M2 from A. This is what, how. Now okay, if you want B, go to here. B. B. Run as Java application. Now you will get an M2 from B. Get an M2 from B. Any questions team? Any questions, any any doubts, team? Team, are you able to understand? Yes, sir. Are you able to follow yes, okay, everyone? Yeah, good team. Now, next one is, okay, next one is, now here, see, means, very, very important topic, functional interfaces, functional interfaces, so default methods are introduced just because of avoid implementation classes avoid implementation classes no interfaces interfaces okay or functional interface okay have only one abstract method you would say 
functional interface with default methods is not equal to is not equal to is not equal to abstract class you may ask sir abstract class also we have some concrete methods right abstract class also we have abstract methods as well as concrete methods right you may ask sir if already abstract class is there why functional interfaces are introduced again what is the use of this functional interfaces with the default methods and abstract classes understood there are many okay, advantages are there okay at this time functional interfaces with default methods is not equal to abstract class the reason i will give few of the reason now first one okay why point one abstract classes abstract classes abstract class can't refer can't refer lambda expressions whereas whereas functional interfaces whereas functional interfaces with default methods can refer whereas functional interface with default methods can refer lambda expression lambda expression see if if you go for abstract you can go but you have to write so many code so much of again you have to write a extend class if you want to override so much of okay you should write next one okay inside abstract class we can override object class but can't do can't do in interface to do in functional interface can't do in the okay, functional interfaces understood okay next one okay inside interface inside interface inside okay, inside of okay, abstract class inside abstract class we can declare constructors but but can't declare constructors in interface in okay of okay, inside inside interface fourth one team is fourth one abstract class can talk about state of the object the abstract class can talk about state of the object the abstract class can talk about state of the object but you know interface never never talks about state of an object interface never talks about an object interface never talks about state of an object object in abstract class in abstract class we can declare we can declare okay, instance and static blocks instance and static blocks but inside interface 
inside interface we can't we can't declare we can't declare instance and static blocks these are the helpful team all are if any interviews are asking by mistake however one of guys is asking in chat okay, interviews are asking you should give all these points you know first okay, abstract class is not same as a functional interface with default methods now understood team next one last one okay, inside abstract class inside of abstract class okay we can declare we can declare okay, instance variables we can declare okay, instance variables we can declare okay, instance variables which are required for child class child classes here okay, inside of interface every variable every variable always every variable always public comma static comma final and we can't we can't declare we can't declare instance variables we can't declare abstract class can declare instance variable which are required for child classes but inside interface every variable is always public static final and we cannot declare instance variables so these are the now here abstract classes interface with default methods versus versus abstract classes This abstract class. What team? Okay, any questions team? Yeah. 